were worried about it earlier in the week. In we the week. were. We were. At one point, I was really getting concerned. But thank goodness for wind shear and also for it being November. November, not only just a great month for my Scorpios, of course, but also a great month because we also continue to see that we have a lot of wind shear and cooler water temperatures, which means any tropical systems have a really hard time from spinning up. Right now, live look around, though, showing us that we still have a lot of deep tropical moisture in place, meaning high levels of humidity today. We are going to be mild. We're going to be above average again. 65 right now for Lando Lakes, 59 for Bartow and Wachula, 63 for Crystal River and 68 for Clearwater. So today, again, we are going to continue to see those highs in the 80s and we will be warm and humid with a mix of clouds and sun. A little more cloudy today than we were yesterday. Today's going to be the last day, though, that we really feel this high humidity for quite some time. Get ready for a major cool down. We see 84 on the board for you there tomorrow, though. Here is where the changes begin. So we do have a weather impact alert and it's going to start off in the morning hours. I'm talking 1 a.m. all the way until potentially 3 o'clock. We may cut that back. Now we could see realistically most of these storms are going to be moving through from 1 a to 1 p. So that is when the strongest storms will be here. So that is when our weather impact alert will be. However, another thing is, is that this cold front is really meshing together with the moisture from Sarah, the leftover remnants of Sarah. That is going to allow for us to have strong gusty winds and also some strong storms as well. So make sure you have the umbrella. You'll need it and make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get into work or drop the kids off at school for tomorrow. Those winds can be gusting tomorrow morning from anywhere between 15 to 20, even 25 miles per hour. So just make sure if you have any tarps on your home, anything like that, that you secure anything, any of the patio furniture. Live look at where this storm system is. We do see that over towards the deep south, they're receiving some of that severe weather and also a ton of rainfall, which is actually a good thing for them. We were in a drought big time, still in a drought in portions of the country, majority of the country, I should say, for the month of October heading into November. But you can see that this front is going to continue to move and shift eastward closer to the state of Florida right there. And it is going to bring us potential to see one or two strong storms. So here's what to expect heading into the overnight hours right around 1 a.m. We're going to have a line of showers and one or two strong storms that potentially could become severe. Very low end chance for severe weather with gusty winds. Now that system pushes past our area. Of course, we are going to see major changes from it out ahead of a front. We're always much warmer. You can see all those winds from the south pump up tons of moisture into our atmosphere. So we're going to be humid today, but this is the last day that we're humid for a while. This front comes through 1, 2 a.m. You can see the storms are here. The showers are here as well, but already the front is weakening as it moves over us. And I would say by the time we head into about 3 p.m. after school pickup, we are looking really good and heading into Thursday. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. We are going to see that all this cloud cover from today really starts to go away once that front pushes past Past our area and look at what it does to our temperatures makes us below average for quite some time. So again, weather impact alert day coming at you. Overnight storms could potentially one of them too, maybe very strong, but then we see a major cool down for this weekend.